almost feels like same forecast, different day, Ben. A lot of sunshine out there once again today. What are things looking like as we progress? Yes, every day this week we just talked about the sunshine out there, but the rain chances are going to come back in by the time we hit tonight. As we take a live look over Mount Ripley, nothing but sunshine. Temperature has made it up to 75 degrees in the Houghton and Hancock area. Made it towards 78 officially at the National Weather Service in Nagani Township for today. So those temperatures, little by little, have been increasing for us. Again, you'd hardly know it by taking a look at that sky cam, but rain showers are set to move into Upper Michigan later on this evening. You have to go off towards northwestern portions of Wisconsin to find those or out over Lake Superior right now. A lot of dry air over Upper Michigan that these showers and embedded thunderstorms have to overcome. We'll see an increase in this activity as we head on later into the evening. On the wider perspective for us, the high pressure is still in control of the weather. It's right now towards, oh, just east of Indianapolis, north of Cincinnati for us. And we have a weak cold front off towards the west. This will knock our temperatures down a few degrees for tomorrow. And with the cloud cover and showers and embedded thunderstorms around for tomorrow, that will knock the temperatures down a few degrees. But then we'll be rebounding pretty quickly after that. So here's future radar and wind gusts. Later on this evening, after 8 o'clock towards 10 o'clock, western sections of upper Michigan will start to pick up on these mostly light rain showers. A few areas of moderate rain and a few thunderstorms will be possible for us. Heading off towards tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock clock for your Friday morning. Parts of Upper Michigan dealing with these, this is going to be pretty scattered across the area, so not everyone's going to be seeing rain all the time. And that'll be the case as we head on throughout your Friday as well. Here's lunchtime. You can see these showers scattered across Upper Michigan. It's a breezy day as well. Southwesterly wind gusts for us. These could gust up close to 30 miles per hour for some areas. As we head towards 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you can see the reds and oranges showing up here towards the Iron and Barriga County line, indicating some occasionally moderate maybe even briefly heavy rainfall for us, but no one is going to see, I think, anything crazy in terms of rainfall amounts. Here's the evening hours, Friday, 9 o'clock. We have these rain showers still sticking with us. Finally, this system starts to move off towards the east by the time we hit your Saturday morning. So I think for the weekend, we are looking in good shape in terms of lots of sunshine out there. For your Friday along the shorelines, highs in the low to mid 70s, scattered showers and thunderstorms, breezy southwesterly winds sustained 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusts more like 25 to 30 miles per hour. Inland areas highs will be generally in the mid 70s for us with those scattered storms as well. Not the greatest day to head out towards the water, but waves will be highest towards Lake Michigan shoreline, two to four feet. Those wind gusts again could be up over 25 knots for some locations. Seven day forecast looks like this. The nice weather is in here for Saturday and Sunday, around 80 Saturday, lower 80s on Sunday. So one final hurrah, probably a nice day to get out and enjoy it some time at the lake. Humidity does start to increase though. We have dew points in the 60s for Friday through Sunday, indicating humid weather. It starts to get very humid, steamy in here. Dew points in the 70s, very uncomfortable by the time we hit Monday. And that's coming with those high temperatures in the upper 80s. A few areas likely to hit 90 for us. Just an isolated shower or storm possible for Monday and Tuesday. And then we cool down again for Wednesday, Thursday, more like low to mid 70s. Nice little hot stretch until we get back to normal. Thank you, Ben. Now over to Kevin, who's at Packers training camp in Green Bay.